We'll take a look at our tail to take. Cleetson Abreu is 29 years of age. Adam Koresh is one year younger. He's two inches taller. Abreu weighed in nine pounds heavier. Identical arms on these two gentlemen. Slight advantage for Adam Koresh. That tail of the tape brought to you by Bravaco. Lillian Garcia, to you. And now these fighters officially start their journey in the heavyweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. He is a jiu-jitsu practitioner. Standing at six feet, four inches tall, he weighs in officially 239 and one half pounds. This fighter is undefeated with a record of five victories, all by way of knockout against zero defeats. Fighting out of Tel Aviv, Israel, he is a 2022 PFL Challenger Series winner, Adam Koresh. His opponent, fighting out of the red corner, he is also a jiu-jitsu practitioner. Standing at 6'2", he officially weighs in at 249 and one quarter pounds. In 21 professional fights, he has a record of 15 wins, five losses, and one no contest, with 10 victories by submission. Fighting out of Manaus, Brazil, here is Cleetson Whitebear Abreu. <laughs> Referee in charge, Jacob Montalvo. Behind the black line. Jacob Montalvo will oversee this heavyweight affair. He's got the ref cam on, just in case we need to get up close and personal. Are you ready? Cleetson Abreu in the navy blue. Adam Koresh in the gray. Southpaw stands for Abreu, Orthodox for Koresh. Back fist? That's not one you see very often. Yeah, from the lead hand especially. <laughs> he is an unorthodox striker to say the least. Really interesting cat, Adam Koresh, coming all the way from Tel Aviv for this fight. Undefeated so far in his young mixed martial arts career. Yeah, and he was staring right through Cleetson like he was staring through you at our fighter meeting. <laughs> at least you know, he, you know, it's not nothing personal well, against him, Sean. Yeah. Comforting, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Abreu with the slip, bounces right back to his feet. Literally bounces right back to his yeah. feet. Koresh maybe he's looking to set up something spinning here. I just hope it's not an elbow. It looks like he was showing an elbow there. Elbows not allowable in the PFL rule set. Now, and Koresh is really sneaky athletic. You wouldn't think he can move the way he does just by looking at him, but very flexible, very fast. <laughs> he, he is lightning quick. Left hand landed there for Cleetson Abreu, though, who's the bulk of Abreu's wins have come because of his grappling. 10 submission right. victories, and he said, I've got to get back to that. He, he felt like he abandoned it in a good portion of his mixed martial arts career, trying too hard to be well-rounded. He said, no, my grappling is world-class, and it'll take me to victory here. But Adam Koresh bouncing around, twitchy. Coming up later tonight, that man right there, Dennis Goltsov, on our main card on ESPN2 and simulcast here on ESPN+. Plus. Goltsov, a two-time semifinalist here in the PFL heavyweight division. I don't even know what to call that last kick that Adam Koresh attempted. It's like an inverted hook kick or something? Yeah, it looked like a re reverse question mark kick. Koresh is showing a lot of different looks, but it's Abreu who's landing with the more traditional strikes. Yeah, and Koresh, you know, tends to do this. He throws a lot of unorthodox techniques, then he goes with something traditional, and all of a sudden you're sleeping on the canvas. A lot of leg dexterity there from Adam Koresh, and he's worked that stomp. And there's Abreu underneath the spinning back fist. Go around the cage. Go around the cage. Yeah, great timing there by Abreu. This is exactly what he wanted to test in Koresh. Wanted to utilize his jiu-jitsu here. He says, when I use my jiu-jitsu, no one can stop me. Abreu trying to trap that arm. He had that hand control on that right arm of Koresh. And it looked like he was trying to seatbelt him 
in against that fence, which could be a big problem for Adam Koresh if he gets that locked in. Yeah, 100% doing a great job of utilizing that head as well, raising those hips up, trying to pin Koresh between either the mat or between the cage and him. 90 seconds remain here in the first round for Cleetson Abreu to try and take advantage of this position, earned his way into this takedown. Face-up crucifix attempt here by Abreu. Koresh good enough to get his hand free, be able to protect his head. All right, Ian Parker, how are you feeling about that prop bet at this moment? <laughs> well, look, we, we, we took it to win by TKO KO throughout the entire fight. For Koresh, he's got to stand up. This is where Abreu has the advantage. Very smart, take the fight to the floor. Look, for Koresh, he's got to survive the rest of this round and get back to the feet, and I still think he can get it done. Crucifix oh, position for Cleats and Abreu. Easier said than done to survive this first round as the left hand pounds away on the face of Adam Koresh, bridging against the cage here. Yeah, he's in deep trouble. Both arms are tied up now. What a strong finish to this round here for Abreu, who continues to chip away and pound away at the face of Koresh. Koresh able to get out of that crucifix. Now he's got an underhook here. He's to circle that underhook, get, get some elevation with that bottom arm, try and find a way out of the bottom position here. Straight to the mount here for Cleetson Abreu, trying to squeeze. He'll finish on top, and we'll see round two next. Welcome back, PFL fight fans. Heavyweight regular season bouts inside the cage. Cleats in Abreu and Adam Koresh. And here's Adam Koresh. Adam Koresh with a very unique style, like a reverse question mark kick. There's a swinging back fist that misses. <clears throat> Cleats in Abreu gets right under it, attacks those hips, able to keep his feet moving and secure the takedown. Here from the top position, Cleats in Abreu Trying to rain down his punches. Adam Koresh using his feet. Here's the face-up crucifix. Big trouble here to have a big guy on both your arms trapped. No way to protect your face. Down two. Let's fight, guys. He was able to get out of that and survive the end of the round. Koresh in the gray trunks of Breu in the navy blue. Fighter performance rating favors Cleats and Abreu after the takedown and the ground and pound. Adam Koresh showed a lot of different looks, but didn't really land too much significant in that first round. A few stomp kicks was all. Koresh undefeated coming into this bout. He's 5-0, and and he's only been in the second round in a professional mixed martial arts once before, Kenny. So that may prove to be a factor here because unfamiliar territory, no experience. It can get interesting. 100% yeah, experience matters. Cleats in Abreu. Just, again, seems like he's doing the same thing he did in round one, just letting Koresh throw a lot of techniques trying to lead him into a takedown here. We'll see if the corner for Adam, ooh, head kick there, glanced off the left arm of Cleats and Abreu. Ooh, nice right hand there by Abreu. And now it's Koresh who ducks under and gets himself onto the back of the jiu-jitsu specialist. Foot stomp attempt here from Adam Koresh. And there he gets his head back to a better position for the shoulder punch. Head over to collectibleexchange.com for autographed event use gear and posters from your favorite PFL fighters, collectibleexchange.com. Randy, it felt like even as Adam Koresh grabbed the clinch there temporarily against the kid, you could just, you could see the lack of experience. The head was hanging down more towards the waist of Cleats and Abreu, it, just, it, it wasn't necessarily uh, the posture of a veteran who's been in that position a lot of times. Yeah, correct. He didn't seem to know where he wanted to go from that position. He didn't want to, you know, he kind of lurched forward like he wanted to take him down, then he changed his mind, pulled him back. Eventually, he just let it go. And you know, Experience is experience. It, it takes time to develop that. He's certainly getting some here tonight. High kick attempt again from Koresh. Koresh continues to attempt these lead back fists. The orthodox look, unorthodox looks continuing to come. And Abreu still 
showing respect for those unorthodox movements from Koresh. Doesn't want to rush in and get caught with something silly. Koresh is chin up high there. Abreu threw a looping right hand that partially caught the Israeli fighter. High kick attempt again. Koresh looking to get a read and potentially land that. There's a lead right hand from Cleats and Abreu in his southpaw stance. Fakes the takedown, comes up top for the combination. I think that was a, t a toe stomp. <laughs> it, it, he did change levels, but I yeah. believe he, he bent over to stomp on Abreu's toe. Yeah, I haven't seen that from the outside, I'll tell you that. A more traditional overhand right attempted there by Adam Koresh. There's that flicking. I don't know if we can call it a jab. Good left hand from Abreu on the entry. In deep on the hips, Abreu looking for that takedown again. Koresh able to pull him up chest to chest. Double unders and turns himself off the cage. Knee on the inside from Cleats and Abreu. Stomp misses for Adam Koresh. Koresh doing a good job of getting to the clinch, but he's not so efficient with his takedowns. Spending some energy in there, but landing some good Time out shoulder here. shots in there. Over here. Hey, you can't grab the cage. You can't grab the cage. You keep grabbing the cage. Moment the ah, warning take point from the referee the for the fence grabs there for Adam Koresh, trying to keep himself away from him. glued to pressure really by point, using okay. the chain. Ready? Link. Grab that cage again. It's going to be a point, guys. Ready? Fight. Last warning from the referee says one more fence grab it'll be a point deducted for Adam Koresh which in a, a pretty close fight could be very significant absolutely Abreu doing a good job of fainting and Koresh is fighting on those feints now he's in on a good single leg Shoulders a little high there, Randy. What do you think? Whose shoulder? Abreu's shoulder? Abreu's shoulder is a little too high. He's trying a high single. It man, it's a lot of weight to do that, but his head was in the wrong position to be able to pull, walk his hips in and, and get that high single for sure. Only 20 seconds remain in the second round here. Cleats and Abreu now pressuring Adam Koresh. 10 seconds, another spin attempt there. That kick is exactly what I was thinking when he turns his body like that. He's yeah. teeing it up for you. Right. We'll see the third round when we return. Hey, Randy, uh, Adam Koresh might only have five pro fights, but he sure grabs the fence like a veteran. <laughs> he grabs the fence better than Brock Lesnar does. <laughs> nice clinch work here. And what we can't see in that video is, is Koresh had his fingers through the fence, using that to develop some leverage to throw that punch, that shoulder punch. <clears throat> There's nothing orthodox about Adam Ready? Koresh in his That's style. Right. But he's 5-0. It's been pretty effective, at least until tonight. Curious to see if he gets back to some more traditional techniques. He hasn't had success with the lead backhands, whatever that is. <laughs> Once again, fighter performance rating favors Cleats and Abreu much closer, according to the algorithm, in round number two. Only a one point differential. More shoulder punches from Koresh, uppercut to the body from Cleats and Abreu. Koresh able to reverse position now. Press Cleats and Abreu. We'll see if he can mount any offense. Oh. No, Cleats and Abreu reverses the position and gets the takedown. Adam Koresh finds himself on his back again. Yeah, that was a great counter takedown. He's trying to trap that arm. This could be a very bad position. He could pass if he wants to. And again with the crucifix. And, and Adam actually put his arm there. I think he was looking to try to sweep him. He's trapping himself here. 
Abreu had his shin mounted on top of the bicep of Adam Koresh. So he had to go one way or the other. Tough to move all that body weight, so he went in between his legs. Now he's managed to get it back out of there. Koresh has got the underhook on the wrong side here. Abreu, obviously, very experienced jiu-jitsu practitioner. But I think Koresh is holding on, hoping for a stand-up, trying to lock down the Brazilian. Abreu doing a good job of, of staying active. He's chipping away. He's trying to advance his position. And he's starting to move into a mount position now. Look for him to try and set up that arm triangle for the mount. Oh, he gave up mount, went back to cross side. And he's trying to set up that crucifix. There it is. Pena Ferreira, the problem. Watching intently backstage. He's coming up later tonight on our main card on ESPN2. I'm not sure what Cleetson Abreu keeps campaigning to the referee for, but he's having a conversation in there as he floats on top. About to slip to full mount. So he's putting some pressure on Adam Koresh's neck. Cleetson Abreu is. Isolated an arm. That arm is all by itself. Koresh will try and kick over. Yeah, he could potentially combo off of that. If he's not able to get the arm lock, he can switch to a triangle, but Koresh able to slip out. Right hand comes down from Cleetson Abreu, who's able to maintain top position. And you see Abreu actually has had the opportunity to get to mount a bunch of times and actually chooses to go to half guard, more of a wrestler style approach where he can control those legs and hips a little bit better maybe for his style of jiu-jitsu and able to keep Koresh on his back. Oh, he, the, Abreu is saying that Koresh is trying to bite him. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the case, but that's what he said in Portuguese. Only one minute remains here in this third and final frame. Cleetson Abreu maintaining the top position. Koresh has some blood coming from the nose now. Nice shot to the body from the top there for Cleetson Abreu. He's still got 30 plus seconds to snag a bonus point if he can get a finish at the end of round three. Yeah, he's in a great grounded pound position. I'm surprised he's not being a little bit more aggressive. Right now, Koresh, of course, is tying him up. But even when he had his leg up on a table and his arms were free, he's not really taking advantage of the position. Like right here, he can pound away. Abreu now with some hammer fists. Referee looking closely at potentially waving this off, but inside of 10 seconds, it does appear as if Adam Koresh will survive to see the final bell. Break. Leeds and Abreu finishes on top. This is Arms feels he's done enough to win. Who won the fight? All right, FPR says it's Abreu, Randy, and Kenny will agree with the algorithm. We'll see what the judges think. Lillian Garcia has it inside the cage. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards, and the totals are 29-28, 30-27, and 30-27, all for your winner by unanimous decision, earning three points in the heavyweight division, Cleetson Abreu! Cleetson Abreu victorious by unanimous decision. Emotional because as I mentioned, it's been a while since he tasted a clear-cut victory.